Good morning, everybody. What's up? My name is Solomon Patterson. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm so happy you're subscribing. And today, I just want to say congratulations. Today is a celebration because you have finally discovered who you are. So let's just get into it, guys. I'm kind of like really excited for all the people who I've been coming into contact recently with because what I keep seeing as a similarity is everyone is kind of finding themselves. They're finding balance. They're finding peace because I feel like for so long, all of us felt alone and kind of like, why are we alive? Like, what is our purpose? And after the pandemic and after a lot of people have been watching YouTube videos, doing the self-help development, um, just trying new things and like having a new perspective on life, people have finally like come back to who they really are. And for myself, that just means I guess being honest and authentic and even like making a video like this, like beforehand, I would have been too scared to just sit and talk to a camera and make a video giving people advice. But now I realize that's exactly like what I was created for. And now that I'm kind of walking in my purpose, I see the benefit and the fruit from it. So I kind of want just all of you guys to start walking in your purpose and celebrating who you are so you can see like all the amazing things that come from being who you are. And when I say that, I mean, not everybody is meant to be a singer. Not everybody's meant to be a football player. Not everybody's meant to be a doctor. Not everybody's meant to be a lawyer. You really need to know who you are and what you're good at. There's a lot of, and I'm just gonna keep it honest, there's a lot of guys I know who wanna be rappers and they suck at rapping. They're not good at it. They don't have the look, they don't have the charisma, they don't have the lyrical bars, but they're still trying to pursue a dream that was not meant for them. Maybe they were meant to be an agent of a rapper or maybe they were meant to, I don't know, bring rappers food, but no matter what, they are not meant to be a rapper, but maybe they're supposed to work in that arena. And I say all that to say is, a lot of you guys aren't happy because you're trying to be something that you're not. Like, imagine if I was trying to be a professional football player. I mean, it just wasn't in the cards. And we live in a world that is so matrixy, it's fake. They tell you that you can do anything you want to do, but that's a lie, because if, if that was possible, then everybody could be president. And that's not true. There can only be one president at a time. So I think people just need to start putting truth back into their life. Stop living in this fantasy world. And especially for my guys, bro, y'all need to stop watching all these cartoon shows. Y'all need to stop playing video games. Y'all need to get aspirations and dreams. You wonder why women don't like you. It's because you're weird and you don't have a job. Why would a woman want to date a guy who has no aspirations and doesn't know who he is in this emotionally uh stupid basically has no emotional intelligence at all um guys you have to realize women have a lot more at stake in dating than men do like if a guy and a girl has intercourse then the woman could potentially be pregnant while the man can walk away escape free so women need to find somebody who is more of a provider or has more than them because in the exchange of dating they have more to lose and just like, I don't know, we live in a weird world. But then on the same thing, ladies, you guys gotta start being nicer to these guys because guys are trying their hardest, I think. Well, not really, I don't know. Actually, I don't know, I'm not feeling sorry for you men anymore. Men, y'all suck. Y'all need to like get like the women. Women are really like taking over and I think it's because the feminine energy that we're living in. People still feel like we live in like this physical uh, 3D world, but it's actually a 4D world. And women are just, I think, naturally more like spiritual than men or they're better at like receiving or they just have like they're more they're more emotionally intelligent and this is a society where you need to be emotionally intelligent because everything is digital which means everything is like an electrical currency and your thoughts are currency and wave patterns so it's good to always have a feminine energy to bring things and attract things to you that's what the feminine energy does it brings things to you where the masculine energy is more a go after go after charge energy and I say all that to say is, if you're a girl and you're kind of a tomboy, embrace that masculine energy. If you're a guy and you like, I don't know, like getting your nails done, embrace it because that's what yin and yang is. It's like the balance of the masculine and the feminine. And also there's a little bit of masculinity in the feminine and a little bit of femininity in the masculine. And I, I keep saying all this to say is, I feel like the devil or the world or the matrix or the news or social media keeps trying to tell people what a man is supposed to be or what a woman is supposed to be 
and is making like robots like people are turning into like literally the matrix when you go to the club nowadays everybody looks the same everybody has the same phone um same conversation yo you saw what was happening on the shade room oh yeah yeah oh the vaccine oh coronavirus it's like what happened to the days where people actually were like original and actually thought for themselves and wasn't so controlled by like what other people thought of them and it's crazy because like when i get around people i really realize just like how sick the world actually is people walk around like there is no consequence for their actions they feel like they can as you see police feel like they can do anything and get away with it people feel like they can lie on you and get away with it steal from you cheat on you and there's going to be no repercussions but even if you're not religious in science there's gravity right so what goes up must come down so what goes around does come around um and that's why I feel like I've been blessed because I always sow seeds of love and positivity while a lot of people, they don't always come from a good place in their heart. They're always self-centered. And when you're a self-centered person, you're almost setting yourself up for defeat because when everything revolves around you in a world that doesn't revolve around you, you're just naturally gonna go insane because when anything happens, you're gonna blame other people instead of doing the self-development it takes to better yourself as a person and that creates a narcissist basically a narcissist is like a person who is emotionally incapable of understanding themselves they're not able to reflect on their actions so you might get mad at somebody for being annoying but what you may not understand is that this person's a narcissist and they really don't know that they're doing anything wrong because they're messed up in the head basically they're unable to empathize with other people and say, oh, because of my actions, this made another person feel like this. So instead, they would rather lie and manipulate to make it seem like it's a you problem when it's really a them problem because they are unable to see themselves. So they really do think that it's you and not them. And I think why so many of us are attracted to like narcissistic or toxic people is because they come across as confident. You know, they love themselves, but like, that's also the downfall they love themselves and i don't even know how we got into the topic of dating narcissists but a lot of you guys are messaging me and you're telling me about your dating lives and a lot of you guys are basically dating narcissists so i guess that's kind of how i got back into this but i guess i'm just chatting with you guys and i want to let you know like keep going uh the people who've done you wrong god's going to pay them back and you can see that like all the good things you've done in life they're starting to manifest you know what i mean everything that you've prayed for dreamed of is coming to actual reality and so that's something to be excited for and then also thing ugh, also another thing to be excited for is that it's about to be a new year so if you haven't been the person that you want to be and you're trying to make a change this is the perfect time now to like make a plan before the new year and really stick to your goals i know everybody does like a um a new year new me goal but really uh write it down that's very important to write it down to scribe to manifest it when you put your thoughts on paper it helps bring it into the actual uh physical realm and i know this sounds very meta but think about it guys facebook is having a meta world and it's because there's more to life than just fleshy bones going to work drugs alcohol and sex there's a spiritual realm that exists and Disney has been trying to tell us about it for so long about like believing in magic, imagination, like a dream is a wish your heart makes. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Even Jesus said like, if you believe in me, you can walk on water. There's something to believing. So this was kind of a random video and a rant, but you guys really like these videos. So guys, just keep being you, stay motivated, reach out. If you have a friend in me, I love talking and yeah. See you in the next video, bye.